A new report gives us a look at the most dangerous roads in Jefferson County and some of the worst spots are traveled by thousands of people each day. WDRB's Molly Jett shows us where drivers are most at risk. Molly. We're currently driving down Broadway here in downtown Louisville, and it's actually this report that says there are several roads ranked inside of Jefferson County, but this busy corridor is listed in the top three most dangerous twice. Together, the Louisville Metro government and the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet teamed up to publish this Vision Zero High Injury Network report. It's great that Metro is highlighting um, the, the safety issues on these roads. Streets for People President Chris Glassier says the city needs safer options for drivers, cyclists, and pedestrians. Those rider, wider roads encourage speeding um, and encourage sort of reckless driving. Um, that can be dangerous for people in the cars, you know, pedestrians on the roadways. KYTC owns more than 85% of the miles of the most dangerous roads in Jefferson County. And I think it um, brings to light that we really need buy-in from the state to make these roads safer because they're the ones ultimately who are going to be able to fix the problem. The 2018-2022 data ranks 53 Louisville roadways. The top priority and the most dangerous includes more than three miles worth of Broadway between South 22nd Street and Baxter Avenue. 48 crashes took place in that stretch in a five-year span. You have that many um, different lanes, people, cars switching, uh, turning across. There's a lot of curb cuts for gas stations and things like that. And, and all that movement in, across lanes creates a very unsafe environment. Other corridors of concern, South 7th Street between Algonquin Parkway and the split to South 9th Street, and Bargetown Road between Captain Place and Beulah Church Road, Seatonville Road. Anything that narrows the road width, um, you know, is generally a good move towards safety. The city says the goal is to end fatal crashes by 2050. And ultimately, they, they need the support of KYTC to, to make those changes go through. For a copy of the full list of roads and to learn how they came up with the formula to rank the roads, look for the story on WDRB.com. Live with photojournalist Neil Johnson, I'm Molly Jett, WDRB News.